My meal prep is boring. What do I do? I got you. To start off with a very simple marinade, we're gonna add in some soy sauce. To this, we're gonna splash in some rice vinegar. And then as we whisk, we're gonna drizzle in some honey. I'm using salmon, but you could easily use chicken or beef. Because meal prep usually sits in the fridge for a couple days, whatever fresh ingredients we want to introduce need to get better as they sit in the fridge rather than get gross and soggy. So for this recipe, I have a nice head of cabbage. And what you wanna do is get as thin slices as possible. I like to use ingredients that get better in marinades. Red onions are gonna get the same exact type of love. And if you think eating red onions raw is a little bit too strong for you, just soak them in a little bit of ice water. Here you go, yeah, the onions don't play. And last but not least, a bundle of cilantro gets chopped as fine as you. To distribute all the flavors equally, I'm gonna start with some yogurt. You can easily use mayo, but Greek yogurt has so much benefit. In this, we're gonna do a nice drop of sriracha. Just another drizzle of honey. Rice vinegar joins the party. A little bit of sesame oil goes such a long way. Toasted sesame seeds. And last but not least, a nice happy pinch of salt. We're gonna grab back our whisk and get everything nice and incorporated. So we're gonna add our cabbage. Red onion and cilantro, and I'm gonna strap up with some gloves and lightly massage this in. This is a higher protein slot that has a lot of flavor, just gets better over time. Keep in mind, these are sample portions, but these recipes are designed to make in bulk. Portion down a whole fillet of salmon and just toss it into the oven. I'm just gonna hit these with a little bit of seasoning, and then we toss them into the air fryer at 400. Last but not least, I know if you're a meal prepping, you are probably super bored of white rice. Let's jazz this up a little bit. I'm gonna lightly spray a Whopper saute pan. Into this, I'm gonna toss in a little bit of onion. When they're slightly soft and toasty, I'm gonna go in with some peas. And then when those have made enough noise, I'm gonna go in with some old rice. This gets a tiny drizzle of soy sauce. And to add a nutty note of flavor, I'm gonna go in with some sesame oil. Plus, you want a nice and high heat and do this fast just so the rice doesn't get mushy. At this point, you might question why we made fried rice without any eggs. But for me, eggs getting heated after a couple days is just not the vibe. So I just simply keep it out and enjoy it like this. The plate, you wanna start with your rice, a nice tight handful of slaw, and then we finish with our beautiful piece of salmon. If you are going to meal prep this in containers and leave it in the fridge overnight, do not plate it with the slaw. Keep the slaw separate, heat up the salmon and rice, and then add the slaw after. We get a little bit of everything in the first bite, and as always, now we that. Honestly, that is just straight fire. And the macros and something like this is just super balanced. You have to let me know if you want more of these ideas. 